All right, I'm here with the Ohio Valley University head baseball coach, Chad Porter, uh, just previewing the home opener later this week. Coach, you guys are more than a quarter of the way into your season. Uh, you have the Florida trip under your belt. Talk about some of the things you've seen from your team, both things you've done well and areas you need to improve. Well, I, I think we've seen um, some really good things. At times, we've played really good baseball. At times, we've played uh, inconsistent baseball. And we've got to be consistent every game. It seems like we'll put together uh, two or three really good games and then you know, a really bad game. So we've got to be consistent and, and we've got to be able to get to the field every day and uh, be mentally and physically ready and, and uh, you know, play the game, you know, play winning baseball every game and not, you know, a couple of games here and a couple of games there. Offensively, I know your team batting average probably isn't as high as you'd like, but you have five guys who have uh, played over 10 games for you. They're both all hitting over 300. Uh, you have three guys with double-digit RBIs and one guy with nine. Talk about what that type of balance means for your lineup. It's good. I, I, I think the majority of our lineup uh, is hitting over 300. Um, and offensively, you know, it seems like we're in every baseball game. We've had a lot of games where we've been down five or more runs and, and tied the game and, you know, just scrapping away. So we've got to be more consistent there right out of the gate and be able to take early leads in baseball games and continue to add on that. But, um, you know, offense, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, this team needs to focus on run production not batting average. Offense is about run production and not batting average. And we talked about that last week. And I feel like if we can kind of have that mindset, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to score a lot of runs because we scored enough runs to be better than five and 10, you know, I, I, truth be told. So uh, it's definitely a bright spot. I think we're getting better offensively every game. And we've got some guys that, are, that, that step up pretty big and uh, it's exciting. I think we're going to get better. And then pitching wise, you have a lot of young arms who've logged, uh, you know, the bulk of your innings on the mound. Uh, two freshmen lead your team in innings pitched. Talk about how important it's been for your team to have them adapt to the college game and adapt quickly. <clears throat> well, I think the big thing is we haven't had any games canceled, and, and win, lose, or draw, those guys are getting out there and getting their feet wet. They're learning how to compete. They're learning that uh, there's a difference between high school and college, and a lot of them played a good, good high school competition, but there's a difference. And uh, like I said, they're getting their feet wet, they're getting out there, they're making mistakes, they're learning how to overcome mistakes, and we're definitely seeing growth. And uh, it's exciting because this is gonna set us up for, you know, not only this year, which I feel like if they continue to improve, uh, this could be something special. I also feel like the next, you know, three years after this uh, could be really good as well. And then finally, you have your home opener scheduled tomorrow against West Virginia Wesleyan. That's a pretty common opponent for OVU, uh, dating back to the Wiviac days and now an annual non-conference game. What do you know about the Bobcats, and how do you expect from your team tomorrow? They're going to be a good team. A lot of tradition. Coach Tinney's been there a long time. They're always, uh, they, always, they know how to play the game. They're very well coached, and they're going to come in ready to play. Uh, we have a lot of respect for them and, and the things they've done over the last 20, 30 years. And, uh, you know, it's going to be no different. They'll come in ready to go. Our guys have to be ready. You know, we had a, a lot of positive things on our spring trip. Um, and, you know, we've been able to prepare, even though the cold, we've had cold, we were able to get outside on Monday. We had a good practice. We were able to get a lot of stuff done inside yesterday. Um, so we just got to be mentally ready. It's going to be a little cold tomorrow. Uh, you know, uh, the field's going to play. It's not going to play like the fields we've been playing on just because, you know, the weather up here. But uh, mentally, we've got to be ready to go. And, and uh, you know, we better be ready for a good opponent. All right, Coach, thanks for your time and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.